Hi there, welcome to 111213. The only time you'll ever be able to say that and see that in our lifetime. We are going to be on the front yard today. I'm going to show you the vermicomposting trench uh, that I have. I have two of them in the front yard. Basically, it's almost like a big size worm bin, but you dig a hole in your front yard and the worms will eat the material just like a worm bin or a flow through and I've been neglecting these for this year because of all the water I'd have to haul up to keep it wet but uh, I've just dug around some and uh, it's surprised me of uh, what it's looked like so far it uh, is still moist and we haven't had rain for weeks around here and uh, there's worms living in it I've seen night crawlers and a, a few red wigglers in there but uh, mostly night crawlers I've seen because there isn't really much food I mean the straw the grass the leaves in it are food but uh, you know uh, no food scraps were put in this no coffee grounds at all that I've put in the into it this year so let's go have a look at both holes that I've dug out so this is the smaller hole I've dug this spring it's about two feet down two feet wide four to six feet long and look at all this material that's broke down this was all straw and grass from the backyard in the front yard this past spring and the only water that I that this has gotten was from the uh, monsoon rains we had but if you look over this way all of those roots there came from the pumpkins the pumpkins branched out that far and had all their roots underneath getting nutrition and moisture from the, the trench here so this is a small one and I'll show you the next trench which is bigger than this so the next trench is about the same size depthwise and widthwise lengthwise it goes about 12 feet if you look at all that material over there that's what came up from the bottom quite a few worms were in here it was wet right around that area there's still lots of moisture right in there I didn't see many roots whatever was growing in the trench here the uh, tobacco didn't root out as far as a pumpkin did so what I will do with this is I'll get all the grass that I cut down and all the weeds out back and fill this up this thing was plumb full this spring and it's down to maybe a quarter height so it composted you know at least 75 percent of the material without me doing anything all I did was throw it in here and let nature and the rains do most most of the work on this so let's have a look at the after lots more weeds this year compared to last year it wasn't even this high and this is just a small hole that I filled up and I've pushed down quite a bit of it into the hole so that's as much as it wanted to be pushed down and over here as you can see it's overflowing too and that's been pushed down as much as I could so it eventually work its way down but uh, I wanted to show you guys 
what it looks like afterwards when it's all filled up. I'm gonna give you a shot this way too. And sometime within, I don't know, next few days, maybe we'll uh, harvest the tobacco seeds. They all need to be harvested. As you can see, there's quite a few on there too. And the rose bush, which I haven't showed you yet. That'll be in the next video. Tomorrow, probably. So, that's what happened yesterday. And I took a look at the planters earlier, and the worms seem to be surviving well. There was a few worms in the top that I saw moving around, so um, that looks like it's going to work out, hopefully. We'll, we'll know when it, the cold weather really hits and it starts freezing if the uh, planters will survive, so... I wanted to check on them at least today while it's warm out. It's about 70 degrees. So thanks for watching the video and hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you like it, subscribe.